me focused on um, focused on having material things. Mm. When I don't need the material things. Are you recording me? No. <laughs> you getting philosophical. Come on, just stay keep it philosophical. Exactly. So all, what happened is all of those things mm -hmm. made me feel Preach. like life was about the things that I had. And if I didn't have these things, then I wasn't important. And so what I decided to do was say, okay, God, I'm going to follow you. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer going to ask you to follow me. Mm. That's not worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing and tell you what you should be doing mm -hmm. because that didn't work either. <laughs> hmm. so, I just gave up everything and I know it even sounds weird when I say it. I, I'm giving the house back to the bank. Mm. I'm tired of trying to keep it, tired of fighting mm. for it. Mm. Um, I'm going to hold on to my business. If that doesn't work, I'm going to let that go because I need to do this completely by faith. Mm. And as long as I can do it by faith, I know I'm going to be okay. Mm. Um, I have a place to live. Mm -hmm. And... How do you feel? How do you feel? What else? Okay. I got an apartment. Yeah. And four bedrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. One. But it's only going to be one person living in it. <laughs> What is, with consumer, doesn't that go contrary to consumer culture though? I mean, aren't we driven educationally, academically, for the acquisition of we're, possessions and, you know. We're driven away from faith. And How I don't so? want to be driven away from faith. Okay. I want to know that if I have nothing, I can still live in peace. I still have God. Um, who is it? talk about the leasing of attachments. Right. Um, the passion is being at peace. That's where the suffering is. Right. And then the attachment to those things. Right. Right. Because people can take them from you. You can take a lot of things from me. You can even take my education by, by um, giving me other kinds of education that's contrary to what, I, what I've what i learned and what I know. But you can't take my faith and you can't change my heart. Can't take change me following God, and that's what I want to do. Mm. My my tenant has a son who was, who's a little boy, he's 13. So he came down and he said, "Miss Lee, if I put up half of the money, would you give me the other half of the money to get a nano?" Now his mother passed away, so I said, "What is a nano?" And he tried to explain it, and I thought to myself, "Well, I better ask Aaron because he's not doing good, and I don't know what it is." Next morning I get up and they're talking about nanos on television. And I look and these things cost a few thousand dollars. I start laughing hysterically. He wants to, he wants this thing that will keep him present because he's 13. So then, you know, keep keep him present with the trends and with his friends. Um, so that night I went to the computer and I looked up the iPad now and they have the older version for thirty and forty dollars. And I know he doesn't have a computer, so I ordered him a computer. These are the things I want to do. I don't have a lot, mm -hmm. but I'm determined to live with very little mm -hmm. and do what I can for people mm -hmm. who wouldn't have. His father can't afford to buy it. His mother's deceased, and the kid is really. You know, Miss Lee, the best thing I had when I first met you was when you made a pot of spaghetti. You know, so um, I just, I want to be able to, I find that I'm getting more satisfaction from the good things, the deeds. From giving. And not from the things that I have, mm -hmm. yet, that I get. If I can get a lot, people give me things, mm -hmm. but um, I just want to follow my faith. Mm -hmm. That's all I want to do. Mm -hmm. So in essence, what your heart's desire is, where your heart is leading you, is the way you want to follow the folks to your head. And the desires, only desires. Yeah. Yeah. And 
I feel so weird because you have this camera in my face, but sometimes I get so full of grace that I actually get teary. Mm. Mm. And, and that, that's what made me go and order this computer because I don't have a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't need a lot. Right. Mm. Mm. My kids are doing well. And it, this, I'm not upset about anything. This is God. This keeps happening. Mm. My kids are doing well. And here's a little boy. And the only thing he wants is something that I don't even remember the name of most of the time. Mm -hmm. I have to say, what is it? A Nino? A, oh, oh, he said a Nano. A N A N. Oh, I think mm -hmm. that's how you spell it. Right, nanotechnology. And this is what he wants. You know, he he's at my house now eating the rest of my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> he said, how are you, Miss Lee? I said, fine. I said, it's always a pleasure to see you, Gerard. Um, again, I didn't eat all my dinner. Would you like half of it? I, I had gone out. He said, okay. But all, here's somebody that, the, the thing that makes him happy is being able to, to have not a, a mother, because he has a mother, but have a woman understand that he's missing his mother and do something motherly. Mm -hmm. And that's all he all he needs. You know, sometimes I, when I'm shopping, I buy like six boxes of cereal. People are looking at me like, you like Captain Crunch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no kids. <laughs> and I just say this is for my, my friend's son. But I'm I'm becoming so full of the grace. You know, and so happy with it. That I feel like I could just live with nothing and that's special. And yeah, it's not just special, it's different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. It really is different. Yeah. And Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Mm -hmm.